Pretty cool, right? In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can create these awesome animated watch faces for your Apple Watch. Now, this video is gonna be an updated version from my previous video that I made a few months ago because now since the Series 5 is available in today's market, there's a few more additional steps you need to take in order to get this animated watch face to work on the Series 5. But if you own a Series 0 all the way up to a Series 4, the process is still identical from that previous video. So as long as your older series Apple Watch is on watchOS 5 or newer, you're perfectly fine. But to be honest, after watching that previous video, there was a few editing mistakes I made here and there. But now since we have better equipment, a stronger editing machine, it's easier to detect these mistakes. So let's just go ahead and redo this entire tutorial. So the app that is required to create these live animated watch faces is called Into Life, and I'll leave a link to where you can get that application in the video description down below, as well as a written tutorial in case you need that. So the application is free to download. However, there is a pro version, which all it really does is just allows you to extend the GIFs. So if it, if the GIF is too short, it won't be supported to be transferred over the Apple Watch. But from my experience, you don't have to buy the pro version. The pro version just extends GIF and also remove the ads. It's only three dollars as a one-time purchase, but not necessary. So let's just download the application, and while it's downloaded. Let's just launch Safari and go on Google to search up a gift hosting site. Giphy.com is the website where I get all my gifts from. Let's just go on there, select the gift that you like, simply tap and hold on it until we can add it to our photo library. Save it, and now since we're done with that, we can just launch the Into Live application. Launch that, follow the screen instructions, just allow it access to our photos. And now on top, you see that it categorized everything from our photos and GIFs. Let's go on to the GIFs tab, select the GIF that we downloaded, and on the top right-hand corner, there's a little make icon. Tap on this, and let's just do the no repeat for this video, but in case you do need to, if you want to extend a certain GIF, you can buy the pro version, which is only, again, $3, but it's not necessary. Let's just go ahead and do the non-repeat. Select that, it's gonna give us an ad exit off of that once the ad is over and now it's saved on our iphone let's just go into our phone photo library from here select the gif but before we send that to our apple watch you need to tap on the edit icon and then on this little circle live icon right here tap on this and then we need to move the key point to almost at the very end where the gif is about to end so somewhere in the very end, but not all the way there, like somewhere right here in the sweet spot where you see that the animation's gonna about, it's about to end. Let's go ahead and mark it there, tap done, and now we can actually send this GIF to our Apple Watch. So in order to do this, simply sh press on the little share icon underneath, scroll down until you see create watch face. Tap on this, let's go ahead and tap on the photo, and then add, give it a few seconds and now our gif is right there on our wrist so of course you still have access to all the customizations if you force press you could change the position of the clock you could uh, readjust and or add some different complications if you like but uh that's it now if you're on a series 5 there's additional steps you have to take because my apple watch is a series 5 but i had to disable the always on display in order for the gift to automatically go on. If you have your always on display enabled, you have to manually tap on it for the animation to play, which kind of defeats the purpose of this. So in order to do this, the quickest way to disable always on display is quickly just launch the Apple Watch application on your iPhone, go on to display and brightness, right here on always on, just turn this off. And now when as soon as you raise your wrist, the animation comes to life. Pretty neat. But if you're on another Apple Watch that's not the Series 5, you're pretty much, you were already set. And there you guys have it. That is how you create these animated watch faces for your Apple Watch. If you guys found this video useful and informative, you know what to do. Leave this video a like, get subscribed. But not only that, feel free to go check out some of my other videos like this one over here. If you're curious what band this is, I go through all my favorite accessories for my Apple Watch right in this video. And then this video over here, that's a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They say you're going to like it. Go ahead and check it out. And let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you once again for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.